Hey guys, it's me Google Cubing and in this video, I'm gonna show you full edge control intuitively. So I learned this on my own myself uh, intuitively and I will show you how I go about doing it. So full edge control is when you are inserting the last F12 pair, you'll have all of the edges oriented like that. And there are various ways that you can do it and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways how I do it intuitively. Full edge control can be useful for people who are using two look OLL and very useful for forcing OLL skips. Now if you already know full OLL then you can go ahead and do partial edge control which I'll talk about in the next video but if you are using two look OLL then I would suggest doing the full edge control so that you have the cross every time. I mostly do full edge control after I have created the F12 pair but you can also do full edge control while you are making up this F12 pair. But in this video, I will go about what I do after I create the F12 pair. So our first case is this, where after you have created your F12 pair, you are stuck with a dot case. And what most people do when doing dot cases is just insert with a sledgehammer so that they can orient two of the edges. But I want my cross to be done. So what I do is I do a U2, keep the F12 pair at the back, and then I do a sledgehammer in here so that, that I can orient two of the edges and then do a U2 prime or U2 again and then I insert this with a sledgehammer to orient all of the edges. So next case is you have this F12 pair and you have one of the edges on the U layer and this uh, U, uh, edge can be either of the three places but uh, I will show all of the cases starting with when the edge is like just right here. So what I do in this case, I again keep the F12 at the back and then I swap this edge for this edge. So I want this yellow to be on the top so I cannot just insert it, uh, take it out like this. So I do an R and then swap this one for this. So I run U R, U prime, R prime. So now I have this one. And if I just insert the F12 pair now, I will again not have all of the edges oriented, uh, all of the edges uh, on the U layer. So I do another step, so I do an F prime, finger push, F, and then I'm in a good position to insert this R U, R, R U prime R prime. So what F prime U prime F does is that it uh, allows, uh, it swaps these two edges with this yellow on the top. So if I just swap it like this, I will uh, not have the cross ready. So you do F prime U prime and F, so this uh, yellow comes on the top and when I will insert it like this, I will have the cross made. Next is again when one of the edges is there and instead of this now the edge is there. So what you do in here, you do in U2 then I will swap these two edges. So R U prime R prime. So now I have the swap these two. And next I swap these two. So I do an F prime U prime F R U prime R prime. So last case and you have the edge at the back now. And how I solve this is that I do an U. Then I do an R G and now I swap these two edges. So I do an R U R prime to swap these two. Now I'm in a good position to do a sledgehammer. So I do an U2 and I sledgehammer so that I can orient these two edges also. So last case, this is the most easiest case and where you have all of the three edges on the U layer. So you just normally insert it like that and you will have all of the edges on the U layer. Before going, I'll just show you a quick walkthrough of how you can use full edge control when you are pairing up the F12 edges. So, let's take this example. Normally, if I solve this, I will solve it like this. But, that gives me only two of the edges, right? So, in this, what how you can do it is like this. So, um, I will first exchange these two. So, I'll first exchange uh, like this, these two. So, now I have three of the edges. And now I can do a sledgehammer to pair these two up so that I have again three edges. And when I will insert this like this, I'll have all of the four edges done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Give this video a like and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. And also you can like my Facebook page to stay updated. And that's it from me and I'll see you in the next video.